good morning guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is jasmine danielle i make all types of lifestyle content here on this channel from vlogs to house routine videos so if you like that type of content definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button also make sure you hit your notification bell that way you know every time i upload a new video here on my channel today is monday june 7th it's about 7 50 in the morning and as you can see i am all dressed and ready to go so yeah and i thought i would just kick off another nine to five work day in my life i feel like i haven't done one of these videos in a couple of weeks so i'm excited to do one for you guys today um especially because today is kind of an exciting day at work kind of um kind of a big deal um i found out a couple weeks ago that my position my department we are officially full-time work from home we are full-time remote and i am obviously very excited about that like that's exactly what i was hoping for that's exactly what i wanted so i am super excited that i no longer ever have to go back into an office but today i actually am going back in so i'm going in today to clean out my desk so they assigned a date and a time for everyone between now and I think September to go and clean out our desk. Mine came out a lot quicker than I thought it would. So today I get to go in and clean out my desk. So that is what I'm on my way to go do right now. It is a little bit bittersweet, I'm not gonna lie. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm very excited about being able to work from home. I'm excited for that opportunity and that flexibility. Um, but it is a little bittersweet. Um, you guys know if you saw my last vlog that on saturday my friend had a baby shower well she's also one of my co-workers and this is someone who i saw every day like we ate lunch together i've known her for oh my goodness i've been with the company for seven years i've known her for probably six of those seven years <laughs> um so there's relationships and there's friendships with people that I work with in that office that I would interact with on a daily basis who I haven't seen in over a year. And it's kind of crazy when you think about it because COVID really changed the dynamic of our work relationships and how we communicate, right? So it's kind of crazy, kind of bittersweet, but I do think the company made the right decision with how they have handled it. I'm really, really grateful for my organization. I really feel like they have handled COVID very well as far as when it comes to um, the employee safety and all of that, um, just an amazing job. So, but with that being said, I, I understand, especially for some of my coworkers who have expressed, you know, they've been with the company 10, 15 years and they have real relationships with these people, right? Um, so it is weird, like not no longer having that, you know, daily routine of getting up and going into an office. Some people really thrive off of that. Like, and I totally understand. Um, I, I get it. Like I was definitely one of those people as a single person who lives alone. Like I was definitely one of those people who looked forward to going to work, especially because I liked my coworkers. I liked being in the office. Um, but after being at home for a year, I just realized like you can still have those relationships. It's a little harder. You have to put forth more effort. It's not like you're just going to casually bump into someone and be able to catch up with them. You definitely have to put forth the effort, but, um, it's doable and especially now that things are opening back up i do feel like you know our team will have the opportunity to have lunches and team dinners and things like that again so it's it's going to be different but the same and i'm looking forward to this new chapter so i figured today i would bring you guys along with me as i go into the office to clean out my desk i don't know if i'm gonna bring my vlog camera um, but if not, I will just film some clips on my phone. I've never filmed inside the office before and I don't want to film a whole lot because I don't know exactly what I can show. Um, I mean, it is still a functioning office. There will still be people going into work there. So I don't want to like, you know, do too much, but I will definitely film, you know, me cleaning out my desk and all of that for you guys. It just may be on my camera. We'll see. I haven't figured that out yet. I mean, it just may be on my phone. Um, but yeah, I also figured since we're going back into the office for the first time in over a year, I kind of want to take my same office routine that I would normally do that would normally have me late for work. Um, and I placed an order at Starbucks. So we're going to pick up Starbucks on our way to the office, which is what I would normally do. So we're going to do all of that stuff today. And yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm freaking excited. Like I'm excited to get my thing okay so i just thought i would intro the vlog bring you guys along let you know what's going on hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are and yeah 
let's go okay guys i got the goods so i got my mango dragon fruit refresher and i picked up some of the bacon and gruyere egg bites because they were out of the egg white bites um so i got that and then also you guys i had to go digging in my car for this guy oh my god y'all this picture oh my god look at this picture you guys look how round my face is this is so crazy but i have to use this in order to uh i think get i can't even remember but i'm pretty sure i have to swipe this in order to even get into like where my desk is and then um i have to get into the parking garage so they said everyone's badges should work for the parking garage so i guess we'll see when we get there but oh my gosh this is feeling so nostalgic you guys <laughs> What I was trying to show you guys in that last clip was this building over here. It's so crazy because I've never seen it completed. It was um, under construction when I was still coming to the office last year. So that is crazy. But I'm on the fifth floor of the parking deck and this is what the view looks like. And wow, I really don't come to downtown Greensboro often, if I'm being honest, like at all. <laughs> Um, so it'll be crazy not seeing this. All you need is a spark, maybe just a better kind of bitter, bitter. Who's gravity? I'm swimming in the quicksand. Up to my they were working on the elevators when I was leaving like last year and I haven't seen this so this is all new and pretty Ocean, negativity is getting closer I forgot I had this cute little thing one of my old co-workers had made me my co-worker Kristen is actually here cleaning out her desk in front of me so I've been talking to her I saw her Saturday at Jasmine's baby shower but y'all this is so weird and crazy just being in here right now it's definitely strange I didn't show you guys on my way in but they have like automatic door openers now on like all the doors which is really cool keeps people from having to touch them which is nice um but yeah anyways i think i underestimated how long this would take it's already 8 43 i really didn't think it would take me that long but yeah kind of forgot all the stuff that i had oh, look at this look how nasty this is this laneige laneige lip balm didn't even know i had there but anyways so this is crazy how are the two Hey guys, 
guys. So I've actually been back home working for a while. It's 11.06. Oh, I should probably take a break at some point, but I'm gonna wait. Um, it's like 11.06 and like I said, I've been home for a while now. So as you guys saw, I don't even know what it's all gonna look like when I bring it all together to edit it. But as you guys saw, I, um, oh, yay. Okay, I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, so much to be said. So as you guys saw, I went into the office, cleaned it up. My coworker, Kristen, was actually there. And I told you, I think I told you guys that I seen her, I saw her Saturday at Jasmine's baby shower. So I knew she would be there. Um, I was hoping we'd be, be there at the same time. And it was really nice to see a familiar face and see someone that like I used to work with and you know talk to regularly. Um, because literally I told Kristen Saturday, it's crazy that I have not spoken to Kristen in over a year and we're on the same team. <laughs> like, but it's just, it, that's one of the facets of working from home like you and that's what i was saying earlier when i said you have to make an effort to really you know talk and just check in with people even if it's just a quick hey hello like i felt bad that i hadn't seen or spoken to her um especially because we would talk every day in the office i know she had a lot going on with her mom and stuff so it was really nice to see her and catch up with her and everything um but yeah it was weird it was weird being in the office because i mean it's just so empty and this is an office that had over 3,000 employees and was always busy always something going on and um it was definitely a little strange um it, it was it was weird it really was but it was really nice to go and get my things although i did get rid of a lot of stuff but i did keep some stuff too um the stuff is actually in my car so i'll get that out um and maybe we'll go through like the box of what i brought home um later on but yeah it was definitely really really interesting um needless to say i'm happy that i no longer have to go back in there <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like i i miss some of those people but the people who i was actually really close with and friendly with i will still see and like i said earlier i do think like as things you know progress and we hopefully continue to get better and you know COVID cases continue to decline i do think there will be opportunities for our teams to um, get together outside of work, you know, outside the office, you know, have team dinners, lunch or whatever. Um, so I'm excited to see that happen. I was in the office and I actually posted this on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be because you guys kind of get, you know, the exclusive behind the scenes. Not really. I just post stuff that I don't normally post on here. But yeah, follow me on Instagram if you're not. But I posted, we, I totally forgot we had this board of like pictures from like different events and things that we had done. And just like candid pictures from us in training and things like that and it was just so like oh my god like we used to have a good time like we really used to have a good time in the office and so I really felt a way when I saw that um it was just really interesting but like I said it's the end of an era um I don't know at this point what work I don't know if I'll ever go back into an office again like I don't I don't want to say never but like I really do think moving forward that a lot of companies are going to allow people to be remote like full time because there's just if your business can handle it then there's no reason to make people come into an office every day we've proven that we can be productive even though we all know I have my days who child we've proven that we can be productive and do good work from home so yeah anyways um i will say being in there i was only in i was only there for about an hour and some change but i will say just in that time being in there with that mask on there is no way i would have been able to work eight hours in that mask shout out to all the essential workers out there who bust their butts every single day since the beginning of the pandemic and, and have to wear a mask for an entire shift because literally that hour of just being in, being in that stuffy office, because it was like, it wasn't cold, it was like warm, not warm, but like, but yeah, I couldn't, I just don't think I could sit in that office with that mask on all day. Like, I don't know how the people who are going into the office now do it, but I couldn't do it. Um. So yeah, so with that being said, like I said, I've been at home for a while now um and i've been doing some work so today we had okay you guys so i don't think i've told you guys because i feel like i haven't filmed like a work day in my life in a while but so we had a meeting the friday before it was the friday before memorial day weekend we had a meeting and um my manager was talking about you know wanting to do something exciting and different 
for an upcoming communication. And so I had the idea to do a podcast. Now, if you've been on my channel long enough, then you know I used to have a podcast. Uh, back in the day, <laughs> I used to host a podcast with my friend Tabard. Shout out to shout out to Tabard, you guys. I feel like I'm all over the place and I'm talking a mile a minute, but it's just because I'm in a good mood and I'm just really excited. But shout out to Tabarik because he got engaged yesterday. I'm so excited for him and Jessica. Congratulations, fam. Like, I cannot wait. When I tell y'all I cannot wait for this wedding, it is going to be lit. He's Tabarik is Ethiopian and their weddings just be, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I've been waiting for them to get engaged for a long time. I knew they were going to get engaged. Jess is amazing. I'm so excited for them. So anyway, shout out to them. But you guys know I used to host a podcast with Tabarik, whatever. Anyway, so I I'm, I know how to, you know, host podcasts. I know how to edit them, record, all of that. So um, when she was talking about wanting to do something new and different, I was like, okay, let's, I was like, what about a podcast episode? Um, so I came up with the questions and all of that and email. And so I hosted the podcast with, along with um, my three team colleagues, like my manager and my two teammates. Um, they were the guests and we talked about this new update that's going into place um, this month and it was just, it was really good. I edited it, I, you guys, I thought of the idea on Friday before Memorial Day. We were off that Monday. On Tuesday, we recorded. On Wednesday, I edited it. And then I even had to transcribe the podcast and everything because I created like a, a read-along graphic along with it because I know everybody's not going to want to listen to the podcast. It's only like eight minutes. Um, but just in case if there's people who don't want to listen, they can read. Um, and just also just because it's there to easily access that information if you need to refer back so you don't just have to listen to the podcast. Anyways, long story short, I loved it. I thought it was great. My team thought it was great. Um, I sent it to my manager's manager who loved it, thought it was really authentic, thought it sounded really great. And now, just now I got an email from someone. He is, uh, I, I, anyways, I got an email from someone and he just said, good morning. I just wanted to send a quick note to say great job on the podcast. I love the new format and you guys sounded like you have been doing podcasts for years. Wink, wink, I have. Uh, keep these coming, please. Like, I'm so glad, like, I was so nervous sending out this communication this morning because I just wanted it to be well received. I wanted people to find it useful and helpful. And I really championed this. This was like my project in a sense. So if it didn't do well, it's gonna look bad on me. Now mind you, it's only been out since like 10.30 and it's 11.15 right now. So we still got time for feedback. We still got time for feedback, but like this initial feedback, getting this email, amazing. So amazing. So. I'm really glad that he enjoyed it. I'm really glad, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, <laughs> I'm just glad. So I'm excited to keep listening to the feedback as it comes in. If you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, I am a communication specialist. So I do all types of digital media, emails, newsletters, graphics, podcasts, even, uh, all types of things at my job. So um, that's why I'm just like so excited about this podcast. But yes so i hope this momentum keeps going today um so this is like the one major communication that i had to get out today and let's see i have another communication that i'm working on and i'm just waiting on someone to send me some information for it so i'm hoping that i will have that by the end of the day because i really need to send this out for review by the end of the day so that i can post it by tomorrow because i'm sick of waiting on this communication like you guys don't even know you don't even know. So anyway, so that is something that I'm working on. And then we have our big monthly communication that we send out every month. I feel like I always do a nine to five work video around the time that I have to send out that communication. Um, but yeah, that big communication comes out next Monday. And I really have to make sure that I get this together and that it's good to go because I am out of the office all next week because I'm going on a trip, you guys. I don't know if I've told y'all where I'm going yet, but you'll find out very soon. Um, but yeah, I am going on a trip, so I will be out of the office next Monday when this um, communication gets posted. So I need to make sure that it is good to go by Friday. And if any updates or changes come, I will be able to log on on Saturday to make any updates or changes. But as after Saturday, because I'm leaving on Sunday to go out of town. So after Saturday, like my team is going to have to hold it down. Um, so I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. But yeah, I just really have to make sure this week that 
that communication is good to go and tied up tidy with a bow and then also i need to make sure that whatever is in place for next week all the people have been put in place for that so that is really what's going on right now that's what i'm going to be working on today and yeah i'm just in a really good mood so i'm just going to continue to work as you can hear emails are coming in i'm going to continue to work and then i will it's 11 17 i'm going to continue to work i'll probably check in with you guys when i go on my lunch break and we'll take a look in that box i brought home from my desk um and we'll go through some of that stuff and yeah but yeah all right guys i'll talk to you in a little bit to be much of a work day in my life video um i didn't film a whole lot of me actually working or really anything this really is just basically going to be a like work day in my life cleaning out my cubicle edition i basically spent the rest of the day working on that uh big monthly communication that i told you guys about but i did get some awesome feedback um for the podcast that we did so i shared with you guys the first like a little bit of feedback that I got. And then our senior vice president actually emailed and said like, wow, this is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And so I responded to her and was just like, thank you so much. You know, look forward to doing more of these in the future. And she responded back to me and said, you have a great podcast voice. And I was like, thank you, sis, if you only knew. So yeah, shout out to all of the great feedback that I got today. It really, uh, it just boosted my mood so much, you guys. Anyways, I'm opening up my box of stuff from my desk. And I figured, you know what? Let's just do an unboxing. <laughs> an unboxing of all the shit that I got from my cubicle. Not all of it, just like some of the like important, well, none of it's really important. That's why it was in the office for a year. But I figured we would just look at some of the like stuff that was on my desk and I really need to decide if I'm keeping this stuff or how I can repurpose some of it if that's the case. But anyway, so just so you guys can see, this is everything. This is everything that I decided to keep because I did get rid of some stuff as well. But um, I had these two mugs. Um, this one just has like some gold foil hearts. And then this one is like a faux marble and it says good vibes. Oh, with my good vibes sweatshirt. Um, so yeah, I actually forgot that I had this mug. I don't think I care about this one as much, so I may donate this one. Um, but this one I would like to keep. Either way, they're both gonna be ran through the dishwasher, so it's fine. Um, and then I did have some books. I knew I had books, but I couldn't remember what books I had at work. So I have this book here called Still Like an Artist by Austin Kleon, 10 Things Nobody Told You About Being Creative. Um, I actually really like this book. I read this, um, this was a part of my graduate program. We had to read this. Um, so I actually like this and I'll probably be keeping that. Um, I have this little notebook, which is just so cute. I totally forgot that I had this. Other than that, it's just a blank notebook. And if I'm being honest, this may end up going um, and being donated as well, just cause I don't know. I don't see myself using this um, anymore. It's really cute, but I just don't see myself using it. Um, and apparently I got it from TJ Maxx. So yeah, that will probably be going to the Goodwill. I should start like a keep and toss pile. So then I had a bunch of other books, more so like work related books. So this book here is um, Grace Not Perfection, Embracing Simplicity, Celebrating Joy um, by Emily Lay. And this book is kind of like um, like a workbook in a sense. Like you can, there's prompts and stuff in here for you to fill out. And I used to like look at this and read this at work, like on days when I just was feeling like unmotivated or stuff like that. So that's actually probably a good book to keep around. 
And then this was another book that we had to read in my grad program. It's called Creative Confidence, Unleashing the Creative Potential Within Us All by Tom Kelly and David Kelly. So this is another book that I will more than likely keep. There were, I have a few of my, my college textbooks that I did keep just because I feel like they're good references, especially for what I do now. Um, so I will probably keep that. And then I have this book. This book is called Leave Your Mark by Eliza Licht. I actually really, really like this book a lot. It's all about like career development. She gives you like professional guidance and kind of talks about her story um, and everything. But I found this book really, really helpful. I really enjoyed reading it. Um, so I would definitely recommend this book if you're ever interested. And then I had this little, um, this book, Find Your Happy daily mantras 365 days of motivation for a happy peaceful and fulfilling life and again this is a book i could have used uh this past year but i left it at work um it's literally just like positive affirmation positive mantras to tell yourself every day so i'm happy to have this one back as well just because i think it'll be nice to have that as like a good little reference on days where i need a little extra motivation so all the books that were at my office i'm basically keeping um, so then I had this little thing. So this was on my desk and this is what I would keep like my pens and pencils and stuff in. And I remember I got this from Target. Yep, Target dollar spot. It was $3 um, years ago. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I'm going to have to figure out like where I could put it. So right now it's more like a maybe on that. This little guy, just like a, you know, envelope mail holder type situation. Um probably won't keep this although i don't know i might because i could actually use it because i have some mail that i need to shred um so it might be good for that i just don't know where i would put it so i'm a this is a maybe as well i had this little trinket tray follow your dreams i just think that's really cute um i don't know where i got this from oh tj maxx i got it from tj maxx and i don't know this will probably be donated just because it doesn't really go with anything in my apartment i don't know where i would put it and then i had these folders which honestly i could have thrown these away so these are going in the trash but i did have this like little um file folder and i'm actually going to keep this one just because it has like this type of accordion file folder type situation so i am going to keep that then i had this little like magnet notepad and it says follow your path um, I'll keep this. I'm gonna stick it on my fridge and use it like for grocery lists or something like that. This was like a little whiteboard um, marker holder. I actually remember, I feel like I ordered this off of Amazon or something. Um, I'll probably just sit this on the side of my refrigerator. And then I have this little um, desk compartment thing, which is actually really cute. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what I can use this for. I can probably use this on my desk in my bedroom. So I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do with this. So I'm gonna keep this. I took my little nameplate because I mean, why not? Like, why not? I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might stick it over in my office somewhere even though it's like kind of ugly. And then I already have one of these, but I ended up ordering another one last year. This little cell phone stand, it's from Amazon. Um, this was the first one that I had ever ordered, but I left it in the office, of course, so I ordered another one to have here. So now I have two, so I can leave this one on the desk in my bedroom uh, because I normally would just take it back and forth. And then last but not least, ugh, I have my desk drawer organizer, which has all of my like pens and pencils and sticky notes and stapler and all that stuff. Um, I ordered this little container thing off of Amazon, but I really don't think it's gonna fit in my drawer. Over there, I feel like my drawer and my desk is kind of shallow, um, but I guess I'm gonna try it out and just see. So yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it. I think I'm probably gonna call it a day right here. I know, I feel like this video is a little random, a little bit interesting, but I just wanna say to anyone who may be transitioning to working from home full time, um, or like, cause I know a lot of companies were kind of, you know, doing a similar thing that my job did, which was like kind of giving, you know, updates, you know, every so often about the status and what was going on. Um, originally, we didn't think we would know anything until close to October, um, but they let us know, you know, now so that people can start preparing. Um, 
and yeah so i would just say if you are one of those people that's transitioning to full-time work from home like it's okay to be sad and to mourn like the loss of like connection and all of that from being in the office but i also think like honestly i just really want to embrace this opportunity and this time in my life where i'm i have the ability to work from home because i don't know if my next role that i'm ever in will allow that like i don't know i hope you guys are all having a wonderful start to your week i'm excited for the videos that are coming up you guys because like i said i'm going on my trip I'm leaving on Sunday, so I have lots of fun videos planned for you guys, packing videos, try on hauls, all types of stuff. So yes, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now so that you don't miss out on any of those fun travel videos and all of that. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.